You like old goosies? <laughs> Let's pull out a couple bikes and see what happens. Okay, I like my old bikes. Uh, so I'll tell you a little bit about what I've got right here. The 1969 Moto Guzzi had Chief Engineer Lino Tanti strip down a pair of ambassadors, plain ambassadors, for time trials to prove this old bike would go fast. So uh, he did all that work. He set a bunch of time trial world records. And uh, that bike, those two bikes, big PR stunt, very successful. That was the basis. One was sold and one went into the museum. It's still over there in Guzzi, known as the record bike. And uh, this obviously is a 700, V700, earlier one, but it's what I had. So that bike led to the development of the V7 Sport. That was a result of the world record bikes. So I've had this bike for many years. And... Uh, a few years ago, I got a piece of a V700 loop and decided to make a copy of it to go with my trusted V7 Sport. So, made bucks, modeled the tank in clay, made bucks, working on the tank. Still don't know that I'm going to be happy with this. It's not welded to the bottom, but uh, pretty cool bike. So, once I get that together, it'll all be built ride it have a blast but more than anything it's just a it's a statement this is my old bike this v7 sport 1973 was sold new in spartanburg south carolina along with a 750 super sport to the same buyer uh, and uh it spent about the next decade as part of the clemson cafe racer scene and uh, the only thing I've done is painted the frame. The frame was a different color red. It was all in pieces, frozen engine when I got it 30 years ago. And, uh, but uh, it's uh, been my bike. A lot of work, a lot of riding, a lot of fun. Just a good old bike. And uh, no plans to restore it. A month or so ago, I had an opportunity to uh, buy a complete, I hate to use the word barn fine, but uh, bought a CX100 Le Mans, which is the very end of the round head or round engine, round barrel bikes, and you can see it's clearly a derivative of the V7 Sport. So this pretty much shows the progression of the three of the round head cafe bike performance bike series. Now this isn't as hot as the 850s. This bike's been modified uh, the way I bought it. It's got all the body work, got everything off. We're just going to flip a couple levers, see if it starts. It's pretty cold. Just rolled it outside for this video because somebody said you ought to do a video. So let's see if it cranks up. Got one hot battery right now, and I've got the keys. So, the old Guzzi's 
got no switch it's just got the ignition switch no button so uh, a little more two hands to start but uh had been cranked in quite a while it doesn't really choke so we'll see how it goes Quick as the other one. 